nuclear materials, radioactivity, ionizing radiation. That scares a lot of people. But any kind of risk from those things comes in the dose. How much are you exposed to? So let's walk through that. What are the risks from the different levels of exposure? Start off with a really low level, one millirem. One millirem is your daily dose just from natural background, from all of the natural sources that are out there, from the ground underneath us, the air we breathe, and from outer space. All sources combined give you about a millirem per year on average if you're a U.S. citizen. 10 millirem. That's about the dose that you get just from internal potassium. Potassium is naturally radioactive and we require it to live. We need potassium and sodium in our bodies to get water in and out of cells. And about the minimum dose that you can get from natural potassium is about 10 millirem, which is also the EPA limit for off-site releases to a nuclear facility, 10 millirem per year. If I go up another order of magnitude, 100 millirem, that's the NRC limit for a member of the public to say a nuclear pharmacy facility or nuclear medicine or a research facility like here at NC State or for commercial nuclear production, 100 millirem. And that's still a fraction of natural background. It's around one third of natural background at 100 millirem per year. If I go up another order of magnitude, I go up to one rem. One rem is the minimum dose that the EPA can issue recommendations for a governor to order evacuation from a nuclear accident at one rem per year. Now, the EPA probably would do it around two rem, but five rem is the maximum dose that a, legal, that a radiation worker can legally get in a year. You can get five rem legally in the United States. It's considered sufficiently safe. One to five rem is where the EPA will order evacuate or recommend uh, evacuation orders from the governor if a member of the public can get that. So they'll make you move from your house if you can get that. Now, if you go up another order of magnitude, up to 10 rem, that's the minimum dose that we've ever seen. At least there's been one journal paper that, that showed that there was a statistically significant increase in a measurable medical effect. And this was for children undergoing radiotherapy, that at, at 10 rem, you could actually get an increase in cancer. Now, before that, it was around 20 rem for adults before you could actually see any statistically significant change from that level of a dose. So that was at 10 rem. By the time you go up to 100 rem, now that's a really big dose. Those are the kind of doses the, the atomic bomb survivors got. And if you get 100 rem in a year, that's about a 5% increase in your cancer probability over your lifetime. Now, your natural cancer probability is around 40%. So it's a, clearly a measurable increase if you get 100 rem. By the time you get up to 1,000 rem, now you're talking well above the lethal dose. You might survive it, but most people are probably going to die if you get 1,000 rem. So we just went over six orders of magnitude difference, a million times different between one millirem and 1,000 rem, and the effects are completely different.